Hey guys, Aug Jelly Bean here. Today I'm gonna be talking about a lot of different things that make me uncomfortable. And I'm not talking about the normal stuff that makes people uncomfortable, like bugs and um, other normal stuff. I'm talking about stuff that regular people would normally find uncomfortable to them. So let's get started on that. So one of the first things that make me uncomfortable is shower drains. Shower drains. Like just drains. I can deal with sink drains, but shower drains and bath drains weird me out because um, it's like, I don't know, like when there's showers with the drain in the middle of the shower, I get weird because I don't want my feet touching the drain. The drain is where all the dirty water and possibly your own hair goes down. I just can't do it. And in bathtubs, I don't take baths often anyways. Wait, that's not what I meant. I don't take baths and tubs. I take showers. I don't take baths and tubs because I don't like, usually the drains at the, at the end, but that's also where your feet go. And I don't like the change in texture because there's the bathtub texture that's like porcelain or whatever it is. Then there's like a random drain there just there and it's not it's just weird i think they i think that if tubs had a drain where it was the same level as the tub i don't know it it's weird it weirds me out it just it just makes me feel weird going along with the showers um i don't like when showers have tiles as the as the floor. I like a smooth surface. I don't like the little square towels because then there's granite or whatever in between the, the like the cement. And it's just like that doesn't even that's not even right. I don't want that touching my feet. I want my feet to feel smooth. I don't like those little tiles. That makes me feel so weird. And then another thing, um is like rugs that you put in the bathroom like a car like a rug that you put when you get out the shower um or some people use towels to you know step onto when they get out of the shower i don't use either because with the rugs especially those soft rugs the ones with the soft hairs the that weirds me out because wet feet and hair or just soft texture, soft material in general don't go together. I cannot stand it. I can't stand it. It, it makes me feel all weird. Uh, <laughs> um, I can't do it. So usually when I get out of the shower, I have my uh, trusty flip flops that I step into um, when I get out. Um, you know, saying it out loud, that really sounds really weird, but I don't like that. Um, and plus, rugs can get hair in them, which brings me to another thing that makes me uncomfortable. Um, I think it's pretty normal though. I don't like loose hairs, just chilling out. Like, like if you see, if you see a piece of hair in your food or something, clearly that's normal for you to feel uncomfortable about uncomfortable about but I don't like seeing loose hairs randomly which is ironic because um me and my mom we do hair a lot so I put some extensions in this uh last week or I did some uh box braids some knotless braids and of course there's gonna be the hair lying around the house and I try to get as much up as I can but you know it's hard Hmm, very disturbing. Um, but anyways, yeah, I think I just talked about bathtub rugs and stuff. Next thing, also going along with like the bathroom type of setting is 
towels. I only use one towel. Like there's only one towel in the house that's mine and I reuse it every time. So I would assume like normal people, like in a family, you all have different towels and um, you know, one person has their own towel of course and then you wash the towels and maybe you don't use the same towel after it's washed. Like the rest of my family, they have their own towel that they, let's say one person gets a red towel, one person gets a blue towel, then they wash it. And then afterwards they don't care which towel they get cause it's washed. I do not use the other towels. I have my own towel. I always get a blue towel. Um, I use it, wash it, and then it comes back to me like it's not in their cycle of towels. I have my own towel. It's not like I I care that they use it. It's just that going along with like, I have like a slight hair phobia that I just talked about earlier, the loose hair. So like it's gotten better as I gotten older. I'm less, um, I, I react less compared to when I was little, when I would literally scream um, <laughs> if I saw a loose piece of hair somewhere. Especially if there's like hair in the bathtub, in the shower. No, no, we don't do that here. But anyways, um, using my own towel, it lessens the chance of hair. Cause like when I, after I wash my towel, I check it. I, I, <laughs> I check it. I go through and make sure there's no hair. If there is some, I'll take it out. But, um, it just, I just like using my own towel. Uh, so that if it's hair, at least I know it's mine, which sort of settles me a bit. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I don't use um, bathtub or bath rags, like cloth rags, um, because those can also get hair in it. I just, I can't do it. I use um, nets, like um, my dad's from Ghana. So uh, in Ghana they use uh, nets. Uh, I still call it a rag or, or a sponge, a net sponge. Um, but uh, yeah, I use those. Oh, shower curtains. I can deal with plastic curtains. I still don't like to touch them, but I can't do cloth curtains, fabric curtains, because when when your hands are wet and you're touching, the, it just it, it just doesn't go together. Um, and then uh, I'm a sophomore in college right now, so when I was a freshman, we had communal showers, at least in the dorm I stayed in, and there were cloth curtains, and they were white. And they weren't the whitest though. I'm pretty sure they probably reused the curtains after they washed it. But I hated that. I hated it. I hated it so much. Once, like, if I if something makes me uncomfortable, I just use two fingers to move it. So I don't. I gotta. I want to barely touch it. So like, whenever I got out the shower, I just like moved it out the way and like yeeted out of the bathroom, I couldn't do it. Uh, speaking more about the curtains, the shower I have at home, um, we don't need curtains. It's a, it's a shower with, with doors instead. Um, so that, that's better. I don't like curtains, can't do it. Especially like when I was younger, if I had to like take a shower somewhere where there was curtains, um, I didn't know you were supposed to put the, like one half of the curtains inside the bathtub so the water wouldn't get out. So my mom told me that one time, I guess after I got water all over the place. And that just made me dislike them even more because they're like chilling there and I'm like, please don't touch my ankles. <laughs> when I say this stuff out loud, <laughs> this sounds ridiculous. <laughs> and I have problems, but I, I cannot deal with curtains touching my ankles, my feet when they're wet. 
<laughs> it's weird. Um, let's see. Um, oh yeah, I don't like bed sheets. I like I like the you know comforter, um, but I don't like the sheets. Like there's the there's the fitted sheet, there's the thin sheet, and then there's the comfort. Um, my bed I have. I only have um, the fitted sheet and the comfort, com comfort, com hmm. Comforter. Yeah, I don't have that thin layer. That thin layer annoys me because it won't ever stay as straight as I want it to stay. Like. It's okay if the comforter gets like all messy, um, but the way the thin sheet feels on my feet, like if it wrinkles, it feels or I can't explain it, but it's just, anno it annoys me that I won't stay in one place. Like when you wake up, I guess depending on how you sleep, um, when you wake up, like it may or may not be perfectly straight. That annoys me. Um, oh yeah, this is sort of normal. I don't like old clothes, like hand-me-downs and like antique stores and thrift shops because that just, it just makes me feel so weird because you can smell the oldness in antique shops and thrift shops. I don't like hand-me-downs, no. But then again, I'm the oldest. There's me and my little brother, so it's not like I had any hand-me-downs to use. Um, oh, I got two more things. Okay, for blinds, like shutters and stuff, the strings that you use to pull the blinds up or down, I don't like those. I don't like the strings, because they're too thin and they make me feel weird. And then at the end there's like plastic things I guess to like separate the strings I don't know because it's really thin and I just think how many pe people have touched these strings no um no uh, the last thing is this was fairly recent like maybe a year ago I realized this makes me feel weird um, the word embedded, like it, every time I hear it, it makes me sh shudder, like it makes me chill, because that doesn't sound right. Like when I think of the word, like embedded means like it's something is in something, like it's within something. And like, I don't know, I guess it makes me think of like skin with a rock embedded in it. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Um, I don't know. But <laughs> those were just some of the things that make me uncomfortable. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if any of these things make you guys uncomfortable, you can share that in the comments because I just want to see if anyone else feels weird about these things. But um, yeah. So until next week when I drop another one. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. Have an awesome day.